Seely Knutson. I'm from Ogallala High School. The year is 2015. You hear the news, North Carolina high school teacher fired for being gay, except for at first there are no headlines, only whispers moving like guilty children, their hands full of pears and chocolates from the pantry. There are no headlines, just newspapers that have fallen asleep in the sun. In the late 50s, a group of Florida legislators fired over 100 LGBT teachers. Six decades later, North Carolina says goodbye to one. In Russia, districts now fire queer educators under the premise that they are breaking gay propaganda laws. In North Carolina, they say they are breaking the commandments. When the news stories wake up, they read, Lonnie Billiard wasn't really fired, and it's not because he's gay, it's because he's marrying him. As if they're okay with the fact that he's gay as long as he doesn't speak of it, but now he's marrying him, him. Richard, a man, a Home Depot supervisor, a person, but to some churches, he's merely his gender, his tongue, and a moral reminder that they can only hire those who keep quiet, and there are still disciples left in Lonnie Billiard's court. Six-year-old prophets whose Bible is Twitter, burning bushes who have an entire nation of peers burning with them. We are now in times A.B. After Billiard, we will turn our insides into outsides and spill ink from our guts. We will speak of this when no one else will. We will speak of this. Lonnie Billiard loves a man, loves his students loses his job for loving both at the same time. We wonder what other ways they will find to crucify the teachers we love, teachers who are potter's hands and rebellion, who convince us we are something worth shaping, taken away by people who are too scared to admit that maybe it's God who doesn't care about who we love, as long as we are loving, and sometimes teachers are the only ones left who know how to love. When I am 13, Teacher opens up my veins for the very first time, teaches me how to explode across a page, how to write with fire in my fingertips when I am 15. A teacher unwraps the heavy coat of depression from my shoulders, tells me there is warmth without it, pulls out a chair, says stay. It is a teacher who some days feels more like my father than my own does, a teacher who makes me not a shortcut, but the road itself tells me I know where I am going, pushes me to stop asking for directions when I don't need them, a teacher who is still a map when I need him. The year is 2015. We are losing people who crack open worlds, ignorant spiders who rebuild bodies beyond the rib cages of poverty and mangled homes into a generation that will start speaking again. Students are losing teachers to school shootings, cancer, exhaustion, a system that overworks and underpays. In North Carolina, a gay teacher packs up his desk. He is not sick. He is not wounded. He's not even tired. He's getting married. All right, y'all, give it up for Ogallala.